If you even look at um, Pride when it comes to Lions, if you lose the fight, you're generally outcasted and you're kind of like scavenging for mm -hmm. food only. But to find a mate is like so hard and like everything is just personal against you. So Nobody I understand the male ducks. I'm part of the loser. You want to lose this game? Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess the older I get, I'm not saying that I'm on Scar's side. What I'm saying is, I get it. Mufasa. I get it. It's, a, it's still all about Mufasa, but I get where Scar's coming from. Yeah, but Nala was his half sister. <laughs> but I feel like everybody in that animal kingdom was like a form of incesting. Well, well, it is. Some sense. Well, I mean, it, it the is. animal kingdom is technically. It is. it is. Sorry, kids. Disney is. Uh... I mean, we saw what Disney did with the uh, Pocahontas story. To They're not traumatized really... children. <laughs> Take away the parent and then yeah. make the kid oh, fend for itself. My, my parents died. What am I going to do? Let me get raised by gorillas. Ooh, uh, uh, Jane, I'm going to rape you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, right? That's how the story went? Yeah. Um. <laughs> That's what I got. Now, if you look at it, the, the father of the, of the daughter, very passive, you know what I mean? It's like um, all into the studies. And she just wants this guy who's half naked. You know what I mean? Ooh, so interesting. So I was like, yeah, hey, Who, uh, all right, yeah, what's up? Instant panty dropper. Who didn't understand the uh, personal space very well. That was so funny. I mean, um, should we just go ahead and attack Beauty and the Beast then? I mean, I don't know. What oh, oh okay. okay, so Beauty and the Beast. Like, Stockholm syndrome, right? Oh, scooch over? Oh. Yeah. Just a little bit. Oh, no, you're good. Um, Okay. There we go. Excellent. Yeah, let's tackle that. Stockholm syndrome. Oh lord. So let me get this straight. I was being so you're, no, no. You were just drifting there. out of the. Oh okay, sorry. Okay. No, you're good now. Everyone's so good now. So you kidnap my dad. You hold him in a dungeon. Okay. Um, somehow I agree to switch places with him. Oh, and then I fall in love with you. Oh, uh, that's what you meant. Stockholm syndrome. That's yeah. Stockholm syndrome. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn, I didn't even. I forgot you fall about in love with your father getting mm -hmm. kidnapped, mm -hmm. and then she switched. Everyone just because you know why Disney makes such an emphasis on Gaston that you're like villain. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yep. Damn Gaston. Mm -hmm. I mean, for God for goodness sakes, he was like. Oh. Are you making really me like revamp like how Disney just? Yeah, like but growing Todd, up, like Todd, my I'm based off of Fox and the Hound. Like the fox's mm -hmm. name is Todd, and literally Todd was an outcast. <laughs> and here I am going through life as an outcast. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. But see, Todd, that's just what it did to you. Imagine what it did to all the little girls. Oh no, hundred percent. And now that I have a daughter, a hundred percent, I get it. Are you gonna be one of those dads that like you're not allowed to watch Disney? <sighs> but Disney is. I want to go to Disney with her. Mm. Okay. Well, oh. yeah, I mean, until they're like old enough, you know, like after once they get to a I mean, point where you'll have certain, to explain like, that, and they're gonna Disney, learn. Disney, Disney's doing a little bit better though. Yeah. With their story, their recent stories and things like that. Moana, Moana is so good. Yeah. They they need to keep making Moana, and not only because it was Dwayne the Rock Johnson on it, because that man is beautiful. But yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that's good. Moana. Mm -hmm. I love that's that one. Good. I love that one. Mm -hmm. What? Is so is she ever gonna be allowed to watch uh, the Little Mermaid? The Little Mermaid. Mm-hmm. I loved Little Mermaid. So did I. Girl. It's one of my sister's favorites. See, I'm going to let her go loved through life. It. Mm -hmm. It's about a strong, powerful woman. Yes. She's making choices of her own, even though she didn't know what the fuck she was doing. Oh, like, but, you know, yeah. you know, falling in love with the man, just like she looks at him, and she gives up everything for him, and she's, oh, I'm 16 now, and he's 21. I'm going to ignore all that, right? Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. That's a whole other one. When you're young, though, you don't oh, notice any of that. Of so, course not. See, so, now yeah. older, That's what I'm now saying. I realize. That's like, what I'm saying. Like, yeah. When you get older, you look back, you're like, oh, thanks. He skated by. But then, like, do we question, like, is, was that embedded in your human psyche? Because you watched it a million and two times. And then when you turn 16 and you're rebellious, but then you can't blame it on Disney? Like, Well, it's, it's, it's also because of what, like, who wrote The Little Mermaid. It was probably a guy. And it's like his fantasy to find like a girl that doesn't know much, and he gets to be like well, actually, the god. To um, did you know the Little Mermaid actually came from an old myth? No, I, yeah, I like understand. Some sea myth, old uh, fishermen. Like mermaids. <laughs> like yeah. Yeah. yeah like, I mean, if you're stuck with a whole bunch of dudes on a boat and it's hot as shit, you're gonna write a story about yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. it's a very beautiful girl <laughs> has a tail of a fish. I, I don't think I don't think a male mermaid finding a woman on a boat would. So, so of course, like the movie Splash, doesn't know English, 
You know, he asked oh the teacher. I, I really love Splash. I love Splash too because oh. it's a beautiful movie. Did a great job. It. But uh, it's Tom Hanks and Daryl Hannah. She was the eye patch girl from uh, Kill Bill. Yeah. Oh. oh. So good. Yeah. She so good. does a great job wow. in that movie. Uh, in both movie movies. night. Yeah. We're gonna do Splash. All right. We're gonna Blair. school everyone. Yeah. We're gonna do it. You gotta say Splash. Okay, you didn't see Splash either. I've seen Splash, oh, yeah, but not that one. Don't. Why would you? Why would you entertain him? I don't know. I know exactly where he's going. <laughs> so the trope in that. <laughs> just leave the I'm saying it. Oh no! So the trope in that is that she's like this totally clueless girl that washes up on shore, and, and Tom Hanks has to teach her everything about the world. Has to you know teach her English. Has to no, no, but no, but she targeted him. Because no, she liked not him. targeted, but it, my, she liked him when, from when he fell when in the water. Kids, that's what they would yeah. say. I, I know, no, when they were kids, no, listen. I'm you said targeted. No, I know. She wanted to meet him. When they were kids. Okay. He fell in when, the water. He fell in the water when he was a kid. Yeah, he almost And they drowned. met when she was a baby, uh, well, like baby, a little girl, mermaid. Baby mermaid, yeah. And they were holding hands yeah. and like connecting, and then. Somebody went and grabbed him out and, of the water. And saved him. Uh, and she never forgot him. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's the beginning of the movie. Yeah, is that so they're on a target boat. Target was the very wrong word. But. And in the in the I New York know. Harbor of <laughs> where the Statue of Liberty <laughs> is, there's a mermaids there also. <laughs> so it's it's a cool movie. They did a great job, and, and Tom Hanks and, and John Candy is his brother. Oh my God, you yes. gotta watch this movie. Right? right? Yeah. I, I, Hot. I, I, Hot. I, I feel yeah. like I, yeah. yeah. Write it down. You're in, like you got. Oh you're in I trouble mean, now. Now you've, now you've gotten for hard worked up. And you're John Candy is like this smooth talking. Yes. Like the uh, Lothario like guy or whatever with the ladies. He's got the oh, fast car. Awesome. And, oh my god. We gotta watch it. Yeah. We gotta watch it. Movie oh, yeah. night. We gotta watch oh, yeah. it. Mm-hmm. We gotta watch it. Mm-hmm. And, and again, like I said what I said, but I mean the Blue Mermaid was on. We watching it obviously. So. I don't know. I, 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 I don't think I'm gonna take that childhood for my daughter. Like I think about it like. Disney, yeah, it's messed up. Oh, yeah, no, I wasn't saying well, that. No, but it's, Disney. it's entertainment for it's kids entertainment. nowadays. Well, like, one thing that we can definitely develop as we progress in culture-wise is teaching the elements of filmmaking and how mass media influences us. So having a introduction class as to how everything works in the movie industry and how subtle images come about, because a lot of people that had conspiracy theories that this is like this, and for instance, I was a big fan of Pinky and the Brain. But I didn't know those guys uh, were heavy into BDSM. Like there was two dudes, like they were really into BDSM. They just met, happened to meet each other. I don't know how, maybe clubs. But they were animators, and they had a lot of BDSM influence on Pinky and the Brain. Is that why I like it so much? You get what I mean? I mean, I love Pinky. I and reference it yeah. all the time. There are rats that live in a cage to try to break out all the time. And there's a cat, <laughs> and there's there's already... a cat who happens to just pimp them like there's no tomorrow. You know what I mean? That comes in once in a Dude, while. I like, Pinky and the Brain in a hot minute. But the idea being is, to do today. if you're able to do, take over the world. do every day. <laughs> If you're able to teach them I'm a brain. and show them this type of stuff so they have a better idea as to look, look listen, this is what, what you're experiencing. So, you know, it's not to say, um, it's how you would try to protect them from, let's just say, you know, strangers. You know, don't talk to them. You have that conversation. You have that PSA information. So we'd like the same thing with that in terms of how the media influences you, especially for young girls and so how it is in the Western culture of beauty and the standards that you must have and how everything is generally like, I'm ugly, I'm fat, I'm this, I'm third. So this definitely really would help out a lot. But yeah, that's just me. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that's right.